think we're on day, I want to say that we're on day seven right now. Instinctively, that's what I feel, but I can't be positive. But we'll just call it day seven. This is the bus life. All right, guys, day seven on this bus conversion. And what we're doing right now is we are prepping for painting the ceiling. So I think what we're gonna do to be able to keep some ventilation here is leave one side um, with no plastic and the windows open. I wanted to give you guys some tips on painting but you would almost have to do it different than I'm doing it because I'm really not doing it the way that I'm supposed to be doing it. For example, my compressor is only a five gallon. I should have a 30 gallon for this, but I don't want to go out and buy a 30 gallon compressor. Number two, this gravity feed um, painter actually says it's not designed for latex paints, which is what I'm using. So I'm not doing that right either, but it seems to be working fine. Hmm, what else? So hopefully this works out even though we're not really doing it exactly the way we're supposed to be doing it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do a little test spray on the plastic back here. All right, so I'm taking down the drip edge, so we're ready to paint under it. Putting all the metal under the bus. From our, our bus being here, and so there's these big ruts and ground, so I'm leveling it out. So I had to switch compressors. Um, our good neighbors over here, he had a compressor, 20 gallon compressor, and so we're using that. My one just could not keep up. All right, got the first row down. Hey, so I am in charge of keeping the bus clean during the day and making everybody's meals. So I'm just making some iced tea and some sandwiches. Looks like it's time to break for lunch. Thanks, Arwen. Got some chips. Oh boy. Hey. So there's a uh, pretty bad storm coming. We almost get one daily. We're on our way to a metal fabrication place to get some pieces of metal cut to cover up some windows. All right guys, I'm here with Ken at Western Steel and he's gonna be cutting all of the metal for the bus. We just gave him all the measurements. This is all my, my list there for maybe the same, same gauge. Same gauge as that. Our uh, metal delivery is here.
No worries, thank you guys. So we just got our order from Western Steel, and I have to say, I think it was a pretty good deal. We got eight panels cut, custom cut, and delivered for about $585 and Ashton is just washing this right now. So this is cold rolled steel and uh, so they put a layer of oil on it so it doesn't rust and we're just washing that off. Really sharp so I'm not gonna go near it. Jeff is supposed to be coming tomorrow, tomorrow to help us paint all paint this bus so we've got really a lot of work we have to get accomplished today we're gonna prime all this metal and hopefully get it all installed okay so the people here they've been kind enough to let us use their car so I'm just vacuuming it out So what we're doing is we're going to be covering a lot of these windows. Um, on my Thomas bus, there was pretty much no rivets anywhere, but this bus is designed a little bit different. The paneling is different and they have more rivets on it. So I'm going to actually have to drill out these rivets here and then we're going to be putting a panel up there. So with rivets, there's two different kinds I have on this bus. There's one that um, has got the center post. So when they put that one on, they put that one on from the outside. And then there's these kind of rivets here that I believe are put in for on from the inside. These you have to just drill straight out. There's nothing you can do about that or use an angle grinder to get them off. Um, but these are kind of nice because if they have the center post in it, you can take and you can pound those out like this, putting your nail set on there and just giving it a whack. And it actually makes it a lot easier to drill because first of all, it's got a place for your drill bit to seat on. And then it really just reams it out pretty fast. But if you leave those little posts in there, you're having to drill through those too. I'm using these right now. These are the hard metal Milwaukee cobalt drill bit set. And they seem to really cut through these rivets. Um, I'm still on my first bit and I've drilled out um, already uh, quite a few, probably a dozen a dozen rivets. So on my last bus, this one right over here, we just had screws up here that we had to take out. There was no rivet. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually taking my pry bar and I'm hitting along here and I'm actually making a bit of a gap here because I need to slide my metal up under that. And you'll see it's starting to pull the metal out here. So I'm using the liquid nails fuse it. It's supposed to be good for really, uh, putting any surface together, specifically metal. All right, guys, I think we're ready for our first piece to go in. I'm taking the windows out so we can put metal paneling here for the outside. And we're gonna paint that when we paint the whole bus and then we're gonna put wood paneling on the inside. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm leaving my rivets on here, the caps, kind of like a, you know, like trophies. You know how people will put you know, antlers on their walls to show how many deer they've slaughtered. Well, I'm, I'm leaving these rivet heads on there to show me how many rivets I've drilled out. guys know we made it a, a valiant attempt to fix the panel that was here and it just did not work out so <clears throat> what we did is we salvaged a piece of the panel that was still good and we
we took it to the metal shop, they cut it here, and then they cut us another piece to go here. So actually the piece that has to go on here goes on first. We have a storm coming, look at this. Alright guys, we have one last panel to get in and it looks like if we can do it, we beat the storm. Hang on, tripping over and stuff. Alright guys, I think that's a pretty good accomplishment. We did all the priming and got the metal up in one day before the storm came. I think we did good today. Lots of progress. Until next time, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to this, click the bell so you get lots of notifications. We're gonna be building this bus and it's gonna be awesome when it's done. Yeah, you don't wanna miss out what's to come next. That's right. Until next time, see ya. <laughs>